Everyone thinks you're dead. I need your help. I'm done. I remember everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. Tell me. You've just been hacked. Mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years old It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker By eleven, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor Never rich, so we were out to make that steady figure Once I was eleven years old, my daddy told me Go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely Once I was eleven years old I always had that dream like my daddy before me so I started writing songs, I started writing stories Something about that glory just always seemed to bore me Cause only those I really love will ever really know me Once I was 20 years old, my story got told Before the morning sun when life was lonely Once I was 20 years old Only see my goals, I don't believe in failure Cause I know the smallest voices, they can make it major I got my boys with me, at least those in favor And if we don't meet before I leave, I hope I'll see you later Once I was 20 years old, my story got told I was writing about everything I saw before me Songs have been sold We've traveled around the world And we're still roaming Soon we'll be 30 years old I'm still learning about life My woman brought children for me So I can sing them all my songs And I can tell them stories Most of my boys are with me Some are still out seeking glory And some I had to leave behind My brother, I'm still sappy Soon I'll be 60 years old My daddy got 61 Remember life and then your life Becomes a better one I made a man so happy When I wrote a letter once I hope my children come and visit once or twice a month Soon I'll be 60 years old Will I think the world is cold Or will I have a lot of children Who can warm me Soon I'll be 60 years old Soon I'll be 60 years old Will I think the world is cold Or will I have a lot of children Who can warm me Soon I'll be 60 years old Once I was seven years old, my mama told me Go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years old This is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video in my wonderful world! And we have a crisis. We have a bit of a crisis at the moment because I was looking at the uh, the next, um, uh, the boss that I should fight next, and uh, there's one called the, uh, it's called Duke Fishron, I think. I think that's what it's called. And uh, to fight it, I need a, uh, I need to fight it in the, uh, the ocean biome. 
And I went to look at my ocean, and sadly, despite my efforts, you can see I did try and dig a big tunnel. Sadly, the corruption has still spread and destroyed half that ocean. And look at the other side of the ocean. This is... This genuinely scared me when I saw this. Look, the corruption spread all the way over here. You can see, once again, I tried to block it all off, but somehow it gets past. And look, it's right next to the ocean. Look at that. Look how close it is. At the moment, the ocean seems okay, but I need to, to save it. Uh, if I'm going to have any chance to, to fight the, uh, that boss in this world, I need to save my ocean. I need to do some conservation. I need to look after my ocean so I can still get all of the uh, uh, the wildlife spawning uh, in there uh, that I need. I need to I need to save the ocean so I can still have evil bosses uh, spawning over there. So uh, yeah, the way you um the way you spawn uh, Duke Fishron, I think I'm saying that right, uh, is basically you need to get a truffle worm. Uh, on a fishing rod and uh, basically use it by the the ocean and then he should spawn and then you need to like fight him in the ocean biome so i think i guess i should probably build like a platform over there because if you leave the the ocean biome then he leaves uh, as well so uh, yeah i need to save this i feel like i haven't done a very good job at uh, stopping the uh, the hollow and the uh, the corruption spreading it's pretty much covering the entire world oh, here we go here's a little bit i'm sure it's going to get spread to oh look this is a little bit i oh, look even this bit spreading too look you can see i tried to save it but it must have spread across anyway uh, so yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, I think we can probably say goodbye to this <laughs> small area of nice area. So you can like purify places and, uh, and, uh, you can kind of improve them later on. I, d I don't know how worth it it is. It's more just because it looks nice, I guess. The, the real reason is because I kind of like the, the normal land and the colorful trees and stuff. And also I haven't been here yet, but I think, um, I think my desert's been a little bit ruined as well. I now have a, a, a corruption desert. And all oh, shadow mummies. I think, um, a shadow mummies only spawn in a, uh, a corrupt desert. So I guess that's a, that's a new thing. I still get the, the cactus still. And I got sand, but it's kind of this different type of sand. Actually, let's gather up a bit of this sand. Can it, so what's it? Uh, ebon sand block. Can I still make this into, um, into, to glass? I might have to do a little bit of experimenting with that. I won't do that now though, uh, because for now I just want to save this ocean biome. So luckily, and uh, now I got the, um, uh, the savage pixel, uh, I should be able to, to dig down pretty quickly, as I don't think it's going to take too long to, uh, to try and save what is left of my, uh, my very small ocean biome. So yeah, you can see the corruption has spread all the way to, to here. So I guess if I kind of dig down straight here, uh, might be a good way to uh, to try and block it all off. Let's have a look at the the map. Uh, yeah, it seems like yeah. If I kind of go straight down until I get to um. Actually, I can probably go a little bit to the left a bit as well. If I go a little bit to the left, and then from here, go straight down, and then eventually go and kind of loop back round to the, the right, um, then that way it should kind of block off at least this uh, this ocean biome section. So there, I think that's the, the corruption there. So this is about as far as I can go this way. So let's kind of just dig straight down. Uh, so if you don't know what I'm doing, basically, uh, once you have the, the hollow and the corruption, they spread across all of the, the other blocks. And there are some uh, types of blocks that can block them. I think there's wood and some other blocks. Uh, that can block them but also if you leave uh, a gap uh, then that should be uh, enough uh, to, to stop them spreading so that's kind of what I really want to, to do here uh, just to kind of stop it uh, spreading to, to kind of completely go and uh, destroy this uh, this ocean biome so let's go down here have a little bit of a, a breath because that <laughs> got a little bit scary then and yeah let's go and dig down so I have been leaving a, a block uh, a gap of three blocks I think I might make it a little bit uh, further, just in case, because somehow it keeps spreading, and I'm not entirely sure how it's uh, uh, it's been able to, to do that. But what it is, I think there might have just been... Um like a few random blocks hidden around the place and then they've started spreading and ah I can see I'm getting quite close to the corruption down there to my right so let's go and start digging uh, across to the right so what I think I'm going to do so I'm going to dig all of this section uh, away and then I'm going to kind of go come uh, come back the, the way I came uh, and kind of just dig away a bit more and try and make it at least four if not five blocks just to make it safe because if I lose this ocean then my oceans are gone because the other ocean's pretty much gone already so this is kind of my, my last chance to have an ocean Ocean. And it's not just this boss, but kind of like, you know, anything else that I might get from the, the ocean uh, would be lost. So I was a, I was a little panicky before. Well, I'm a bit panicky now as well, but I was very panicky <laughs> when I when I first noticed uh, that my, uh, my ocean sadly looked like it was disappearing. I think I might just about be in time. Literally, it couldn't have been any closer than it ended up being. Look, here we go. Here's the, here's the corruption. I've kind of dug into it. So how, how high up does this, um... 
this corruption go? That's the, the big question. Is there any corruption above my head this way? Uh, let's go and try and start digging uh, along this way. Is this the, the top of the corruption along here? I think this might be the, the peak of the, the corruption uh, along here. Let's just try and dig uh, right, uh, all the way along to the, the right here. And let's just make sure I'm not missing any. Because if there's just one block, it might not seem like much, but that will carry on spreading. And that one block will turn to two blocks. And those two blocks will turn to three. And those three will turn to five. And those five will turn to ten. And you know, you can see how things can, uh, things can escalate quite quickly. So yeah, there are a few random blocks. You can see where they're spreading. You can see how it's kind of, this is right on the, the front line of where it's spreading so it's kind of a little bit all over the place isn't it it's not like a, a solid block and yeah this is it oh it's gone right to the very edge we're right on the the very edge of the the map here and you can see this is where the uh, the corruption has got to i have literally only just about been able uh, to block all of this off uh, in time so let's kind of make a uh, all the way to the edge there uh, let's kind of make a, a very big gap and hopefully we might have just about uh, saved my ocean biome. So yeah, I can't see uh, any more corruption around this area here. So let's just kind of go, let's just kind of dig straight along uh, to the, the left here. And if I kind of just link this up to the, the tunnel I made before, uh, then hopefully that way uh, I should have saved my uh, my ocean biome. And yeah, that's going to be the uh, the next boss I'm going to try and uh, get then is going to be the Duke Fish Rod. And I've seen a picture of it. I haven't, uh, as always, looked uh, into its attacks or how strong it is, uh, just because I like to. I like to be surprised uh, with these uh, with these things. So uh, I do know, though. I uh, just looking on the wiki that it was actually kind of like an April Fool's joke. Essentially, they kind of said about it as a joke, and then they actually did add it to the uh, the game. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to, to battling it. I think it it might be one of the uh, the sillier bosses. I don't think I get anything particularly useful from it, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I get any new ores or anything like that. And was that corruption there? No, I think we're I think we're okay. Yes, yeah, so let's just go and keep digging this way. So yeah, I know, sorry, I am just kind of doing a lot of digging, but this was very important. So once I've kind of uh, dug out all of this area around here, I'm going to go and head down to a uh, an underground mushroom biome. And the reason for that is that is the uh, the place uh, where all of the, um, uh, that's where all Everyone, Dan here and welcome back to another video where today I want to start off today's video Hey everyone, Dan here and welcome back to another video where today I want to start off today's video by um, apologizing for not uploading All right, hey guys, Sky here, and welcome to the Warhead Challenge. I don't want to do this though, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Audi. Uh, these guys are gonna take over. Oh God, okay. All right, so we're doing this challenge. They're forcing me to be. What's going on? Ridzy here. Welcome back to a vlog, I guess. I deleted the other one because it, it's kind of rubbish. Oh, hi, Zari. How are you? Zara! Zara, say hi to the vlog. No, no, you're not allowed in. You know, no. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, hello. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, hi. Hello, ladies. Oh. Hi, bro. Hello. Did you need to 
What are you doing, Zarif? I'm gonna get good. I mean, Crimson Dagger. If you want to go subscribe to him, you can, but he's rubbish. I'm joking, he's just prank. Oh, oh, no. Just blow that out. No, no. Library's there. Hi, bro. Hello. Bye. Hi, bro. Let's go outside. Hello, cruel world. Ah, that was close. Hurry! Hurry! Come and die! Come and die! simply licks their finger and puts it into the ear of their enemy. What, Willie? Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. Today, I'm playing Sky Wars on Minecraft. Um, so let's do this thing. So I've got um, just take all this, take this. Oh my god, this is a lot. Oh my god, this is tempting. Oosh. <laughs> I'm school major after there. So if you, oh, why do I keep doing that? You should call oh, so good. What is up guys, it is Bill Star here and welcome back to another video and today I'm joined with Bloody Knight. Yeah, he's a fan. Uh, he's <laughs> Yeah, Palladium Knight FC. Go subscribe to actually don't yeah, just don't subscribe to him. Okay, so today we're gonna one v one. And if I lose, I will I what? What is up guys, it is Bill Star here and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I'm playing Yeah, I, I don't don't comment Would you be the preacher? Would you be the preacher? Would you be my? Was the done the done done? I still got a lot of shit to learn. I'll admit it. What's up, guys? It's Bill Star here, and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today's video is going to be the man test. Um. It is taking a while to record this, um, 
but it's going to be worth it. Hopefully, it's great. Next time I do a quiz or a test or whatever, I'll probably get, like, Palladium Night FC or Scorbid for the win to do it with me or something like that. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy. I have sorted out my mic. Now, it will no longer be bothering me here. So, yeah, let's do this. And um, before I do start this video, I want to say that um, I'm going to try my best to vlog in London. Um, I am going on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if I will be able to, but hopefully I can. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so, number one, have you ever been hunting? Now, I've actually not been hunting, but none of these are mine because, no, I could never hurt a living animal because I kind of could, but I, like, I wouldn't want to. Of course, no, and then no, I don't think it's technically still hunting if the animal sacrifices itself for the honour of being my dinner, no. So I'm just going to put the first one because it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, I couldn't really hurt a living animal, but yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, what do you think about the great outdoors? Um, yeah, the second one's definitely me. Yes, it's cool, but after a while I start missing my Xbox. Yes, that's me. That's, that's actually me. Okay, have you ever punched a mime? I've actually never seen a mime, but who the hell goes up to a mime and punches them? It's like, hey, mime. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll put I sure have, yeah. Even though I have, I'm just going to put I sure have. Um, complete the sentence. My handshake makes men cry and women quiver. It's firm and, yeah, I'll, I'll put this. It's firm and respectable. Yes. Okay. The manly test is geared towards well, guys. Um, so, fellas, how serious do you think? Okay, I'm a guy, and the manly test is only. Um, yeah, I'm going for the first one. No, actually, yeah, I, th I think I should have put the last one. No, can I go back or something? No, I can't go back. Okay, how hard do you have? Uh, um, not harder. Yeah, obviously, obviously, that's obviously me. No, it's not. <laughs> Um, do you enjoy taking chances? Um, yes, no risk, no reward. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, someone insults your lady. What do you do? Um, throw the thunder. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I would kind of do this one or that one, but I'm gonna put this one because it's, I I don't want to like fail as a man on this test. Um, what's your drink of choice? Um. None of them. I'm just gonna put the first one. Um, what do you think other men think of you? I'm a confident guy and I trip. Um, I guess other men. Oh yes, other men want to be me. Yes, boys, let's go. Other men definitely want to be me. Okay, you eat red meat, bro. Right? Um, no, I'm a vegetarian. No. Um, um, you know it, bro, yeah? When you sneeze, you wipe your nose with... Well, okay, this is weird, because I, I don't want you guys to think I'm weird. Like... People do sometimes... I sometimes wipe my nose with my sleeve. I'm just gonna put it. Like, when I just really can't be asked. Um, your channel surfing techniques involve flipping back and forth with... Um, yeah, I always flip back and forth. Yeah, I guess. Okay, real men are wiser than most, and wisdom sometimes comes with age. When were you born? I'm actually going to put my real birthday. Like, wait, where's 17? Why, why can't I put 17? Can I go down? The latest... Oh, this is the freaking month. <laughs> but this, I'm really stupid. Um, 17th, July. Um, where is it? It's 2002, guys. 2002. Where is it? I can't even see it. Okay, it's here. Um, would you go back? Well, I am in school. Uh, yeah, but no, I'm plenty smart already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Are there any more questions? Oh my god, this is actually the progress. 23 seconds. Have I actually done this in like two seconds? The whole man test? Yeah, it's literally taken me like four minutes to do the man test. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can't skip this. Oh my god, that's actually took me like four minutes, and I've seen like other people do this, and it took them like 20. Like, I guess it's because like they were with someone else. I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let's just um check out my results. Oof. Come on, why does this actually take so long? You want to see more quizzes, guys? Because that that could be done. Because like, 
I I like these coins, like they're quite cool. Um, but it would be better if I did them with someone else. If I um if uh if I do meet up with any of my friends that like do YouTube or something, um, I will definitely ask them if they want to do the test with me. And if they say yes, then definitely we'll record it and definitely we'll do all this stuff. <laughs> And I'm getting a call. Guys, shut up. Shut up. Wait, 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 Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shitty ringtone, whatever. Shut up. Uh, that, that's, I didn't choose that. What? <laughs> okay, skip to results. Can I even click this before clicking close? Can I click this? Stop! Just stop! What the hell? Oh, I'm a real man. Oh my god, you're a real man.